If you're having traction roll issue with the RTRC RTA V2, it's probably best to have your sidewall glued all the way to the top. All the way to the top. By that I mean the top of the sidewall, okay? Not not here. Okay? I don't glue here. Just on the sidewall. This car has this active toe in to where when you compress the suspension as you come into the corner the front wheel toe in doesn't stay the same the suspension compresses and you turn and you use up all that suspension 100 percent the outside wheel will toe in even more and this is why you sometimes feel in some of the corners not every corner the car is on the edge of traction rolling or it feels like it's very edgy in some of the corners not every corner okay it's because the, this car is unique it's got this active toe in when you when this car is down with the wheels on and you push it down to compress the front spring you will see that the front wheel you're towed out when you push it down suspension compresses the the wheel will toe in i have a video you can check it out i'll put it up here somewhere you can check it out when you when I was pushing down on the front wheel. You can see the the front wheel as the suspension compresses. Suspension compresses the front wheel does this from toe out. So this car you're fine if you're doing four degrees toe out. It's okay because when the suspension when you slow down the car toes in. And then when you make this dive into the corner like you dive bomb into the corner. Don't don't worry too much about it because the car will handle it because it's gonna toe in. So you can come in, come in deeper with this car and hold the mid corner with this car because of that active toe in, okay? If you're a, an aggressive point and shoot kind of driver, aggressively on every corner, let's say there's 10 corners on the track layout, on every corner, you're driving aggressively, you're using up 100% of the travel, the car is gonna be dropping fast lap. However, if you're very smooth driver and you're using 60 to 80% of the travel only, the front of the car, when you use the travel, it doesn't use up that much. It doesn't tow in too much. It's just slight tow in. So you won't even notice it. But one of the corners out of that 10 corners, one or two, you have to use 100% of that travel in the front. This is when you're going to feel that the car kind of feels on the edge and kind of inconsistent because all eight of the corners were smooth and fine. And then you come into this ninth or eighth and ninth or ninth and tenth corner, all of a sudden the car just felt a bit edgy or on the edge of traction rolling that's because you use up all the hundred percent of the travel and the car just towed in on you okay so um it's very unique to this car you can drop a fast lap with this car like i said the, uh, come in deeper into the corner corner entry and hold the mid corner um, tighter with, with 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 this front end but you have to know when to use it you have to be able to feel that front end how much travel you're using Right now, though, I'm not worried about that toe in. I'm, I'm a little worried about the traction roll from the sidewall flex. So I remove my, my wheel so that I can put glue on that remaining sidewall. Okay, it's only like a millimeter. I just put super glue in and just put the glue on the outside just so I don't get this flex from the sidewall. See, a full size tire is flexing, and that flex and that toe in makes this car dig in too much. So I don't want this car to dig in. I want it to kind of smooth out every corner, you know, not not dig into the corner. If you ever find yourself um, struggling on how the car is diving into the corner and traction rolling into the corner, even if you're trying to smooth out the corner, um, best to glue that sidewall all the way to the top or use the RTRC flange all the way to the top, the, the, the big one, and, uh, you know, uh, level it with the with the tire which is what i did with this I, I i glued the sidewall and if i feel that the car starts to understeer then i'm going to sand down the edge of that corner where i glued i would remove that corner edge that's glued to get the traction back okay but still glued okay this tire by the way is not glued onto the rims it's just double-sided tape i really just glued the sidewall on the outside no glued on no glue on the inside I am getting lazy of gluing the tires now. So most of the time, like my cars, they're just tape. So if you find yourself traction rolling, glue the sidewall all the way to the top. 
um, I would suggest to run the 20 millimeter KS1142 without glue first. And then if you find it, you still have too much steering, then glue the sidewall. Now, if this is the tire you chose and you understeer, then go to 19 millimeter KS1042. They're, they're both the same size when you scuff them. But uh, I know the, these two are both firm, but this has more sidewall. This is low profile, so the sidewall is skinnier, less flex. This one has more flex from the sidewall, so you have more initial turn in, okay? That you can control, you know, you, you put glue if you want less of that dig in, okay? Um, anyway, again, this is the RTRC RTA version 2 with the traction roll, and I'm hoping that this will fix that traction roll issue that I have, okay? Seven two. Seven four. Seven two. This is my RTRC RTA with the front tire glued sidewall that I did this morning. Uh, it was still, it's not traction rolling anymore. However, it's still digging in the front end. So I put a weight in the back. Um, I believe this is three grams. Uh, I am running aluminum rear pod and brass chassis. When I put this weight in the back, the car got so much better. And this is in the 2500 class. This car is actually has the fastest lap on this track layout that we have for August. This one did multiple seven ones, fast lap at seven point one five. Yeah, this one is fast. It it can it can go deeper into the corner, hold the mid corner better, but uh. It, I need that weight in the back to kind of um, make the car drive easier because right now it's over rotating but anyway so far so good though no springs in the front uh, no front spring the little spring I don't have that after gluing the sidewall of the front tires yesterday took it to the track and no traction roll and the car never felt like it was on the edge of traction rolling um, so it, it worked good gluing the sidewall but it still wasn't fast because of, there's still a lot of traction in the front. There's a lot of steering in the front. Too much initial bite that the rear wheel would lift. Okay, it, I never felt the car was on the verge of traction rolling. It never felt that way. But the back end would lift. You can really see the rear end when I come into the corner. This side would go up. But it's not, it never felt like it's going to roll over, okay. Inside the chicane, the car was kind of slow because it's lifting and then on the other right turn lift left turn lift it felt sluggish inside the chicane so i added this three grams of weight in the back under the diff shaft okay it won't fit this way so i just kind of shoved it back there uh but all the way in okay never put weight hanging it's always under the diff shaft so just by putting this three grams of lead tape with double-sided tape i was able to stabilize the rear end from lifting it's just three grams and uh, the back end was good i did thought of putting the brass lower plate i'm running aluminum this is brass and aluminum i thought of putting this until i weighed it check out the weight this is three grams Okay, exactly three. And check out the lower 
pod brass plate 15 grams i don't know how much this one weigh maybe let's say seven grams total 10 grams this is pretty heavy i i, I don't think this is seven grams but maybe it is the aluminum lower plate but uh after seeing this i am not going to install the the brass plate that's i like how this car rotates with just the three grams back here and aluminum pod so i'm gonna keep this for now unless if i go to 3500 motor or mod motor and then the back end just feels too light then i'm going to try the brass lower plate but for now the car is a lot more stable the back end and there is no feeling of the car wants to traction roll after i glued the sidewall okay the offset i'm running in the front is 1.5 this wheel size is 19 millimeter the tire is ks 1042 and the three grams of weight in the back this is a 2500 motor with the hard body blinky mode 